what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're here once again slam dunk we're in the thick of things and i really want to see where this is going to go anime is getting deep this is the stuff i love to see when it comes on to anything that i'm watching it's what i prefer it's not what i always watch but it's what i prefer you know um slam dunk as is becoming one of those deep sports anime and we will see once it is done it's all said and done um might go into the manga too um if it finishes on a great note where i see see it fit for me to go forward into the manga like say a ippo i will do so and then i'll measure the two against each other to see which one is better a lot of people don't like the fact that i have ippo in my number one spot people have asked me why do you have ippo as your number one um over certain other animes that are in my top five you know and to be honest it's a discussion i've had this discussion before i don't want to have it here now um but i i can give you guys the gist of it of how i feel about ippo um i just feel like it's a really really good story that I people like the the lessons that you can learn from that um it's not anything it's not complex writing and it's not a, it's not about complex writing because i'm not judging it based on that i'm judging it based on um the things that i always judge anything on this chat this channel on right and a personal feelings comes into play too um you know audio visual and the biggest thing about ippo that i really really why i hold it in such high regard is the rewatchability i'll tell you this ippo um not a lot of people react to ippo um i feel like when it comes on to rewatchability Ippo is just one of those where I never get tired of seeing the fights, the moments. Ippo is fall fall out of your chair laughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, those moments that they have. I love the the genuineness of certain things when it comes on to what they do. It's very real life and very grounded. And I think that's one of the things that I love about it the most that it's a very grounded anime um, story it's a very grounded story you know most of the things that happen in it it's 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 very very grounded you know I mean everybody's top five is personal feelings anyway there's some sort of personal feeling comes into it I think that plays into it for me of course objectively objectively you know what I'm saying? Objectively, there's there's no way I could put Ippo in the number one spot. You get what I'm trying to say? Objectively. So, but anyways, there's some there's just some sentimentality there for me why I have it there. But in any case, we'll see once Slam Dunk is done. You guys are saying that Slam Dunk is the greatest sports anime of all times. We'll see. We will see. All right, so let's jump into these episodes. I want to see what's next for these characters. I'll see you guys for the review. All right, so that was Slam Dunk episodes 28 and 29 and as i said not much to talk about here it was two very grounded episodes nothing much to talk about except for the fact of them not starting and then putting them in because you know coach was trying to punish them for fighting you know and even though it wasn't their fault you know what i'm saying why they got into a fight it's really cool to see that the coach actually took that into consideration and because he knows that they're anxious to go in because I was 
as I said before, they have a really good start in five if they start these five, these four along with Akagi, right? So I was definitely looking forward to seeing them on the court together, and we're finally going to get that. They're down by 14, but hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you got to fight your way back sometimes in, in basketball games. That's not new. Um, and it's going to be a sight to see all these guys play together. Um, hopefully there's no ego amongst them because that is still a possibility, you know. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I don't think they're going to go that route. But if they do, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? I would, you know, it's I'm expecting it. You know what I mean? But because there's so their, their talent is going to, you know, support each other. Um, in my opinion, you know, as a team, they're the best five players to put out on the court. Um, Hannah Mitchell, he's come a long way, uh, even though we haven't seen much from him so far, scoring wise, I still look at him as a, um, a serious threat on defense. He's a very energetic guy on defense. So I expect him to... To develop more into come into his scoring ability later on in the anime but for now he's a great defender to have on the floor his height everything about him is going to make that possible so i'm looking forward to see him making some great defensive plays of course the other the others are great on offense not so much defense you know uh mitsui um rukawa um, I can never remember the other guy's name. Eventually, it'll, it'll come to me, okay? Um, but the short one, the shortest one there, I think he's like 5'10", or something like that. Uh, so really short. Uh, but in any case, um, you know, he's... I think he is going to play the, the point guard position. And you have two other guards, right? Which is in Ruk Rukawa and Mitsui and then you have um I, I guess you could call Hanamichi a power forward I don't know I think you could call him a power forward and, and, and Mitsui could be a small forward of course um he got the height for it I, I'm just going based on the height um you know and and skill also because you know, Hanamichi could be that power forward, that defensive power forward for now. But I think he shows much promise on the defensive hand more than he shows promise on the offensive hand right now. But I'm pretty sure he's going to develop into a great offensive player sooner or later. Or at least be known for his defense. Um, so that's what I'm expecting. Hakagi finally has some help, if you will, because the others were like first years that was on the court with him that got the start so we'll get to see that but anyways guys as i said not much to talk about here just looking forward to, to them playing the game the next two episodes okay so um appreciate you guys for this one this one um you guys are probably going to get these episodes late um so no worries about it it is what it is when they come out they come out i know these are supposed to come out on tuesdays but tuesday is the day that i'm actually reacting to these so um so these probably you're probably gonna get these maybe early wednesday morning or late to late tonight so appreciate you guys for tuning in as always i know you guys want me to continue doing slam dunk consistently and i'm still getting around to getting used to the schedule um so working everything you know all in all so looking forward to it appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate you don't forget to hit the like button leave something in the comment section and i'll catch you guys later man push